Hello comic friends, so I got a lot, a lot of McFarlane in this, 301 to 315. I thought I was going to get a really great price, but somebody bid <laughs> late and ran up the price a little bit. I still got it for under my cap, what my max price was, but I almost got this as a real bargain. So they looked great online. The pictures looked great. I'm just hoping maybe there's three or four books in here. That would be ultra high grade. Maybe we could dream <laughs> that there could be a 9.8 in here somewhere. Regardless, if these all come back 8.5, 9.0s, I probably will break even value wise. I think I got them for around 40 or 50 dollars each. Which, when you look at some of the bigger keys in here and some of the smaller ones, you can average it out. Eh, something like 30 to 60 is probably the sweet spot on getting these books. But if we get a 9.8 or 9.6 even on a couple of these books, especially if it's the right books, we could do very, very well. So what I want to do in this video is if I have pictures of what they look like online, I'll put them on the screen here. I think I could just go to my eBay and show you that. It should still be available. And then we're going to unbox these, take a look at them, each one, and, you know, quickly. I'm not going to take my time. And just briefly glance them over and do like a little pre-screen on them and just, you know, ballpark them immediately. And we'll see how we did. I mean, could have done terribly. We could have been okay. Or we might have just hit a home run. I just have no idea. So let's unbox this thing and find out together. Let's see how they're packaged. It's, yeah, it looks like, like almost like grocery bag paper, <laughs> whatever you call this stuff. And uh, let's see what we got. Okay, that I'm happy about. So we've got two Gemini mailers in here, and they look like new ones, pristine. Very cool. So good packaging. Um, yeah. So let's see what we got in number one here. I, I don't know how he's got this order, and I, it's not written on here, so I could be doing 301 to 308, and then that would be 309 to 350. I really don't know. And I just got lucky. This one is 301, <laughs> so I'm assuming this is the first one I should be unboxing. So let's just get these out of here, and we'll do a quick look from this angle, and then I'll switch cameras over here, and we'll look at them under the light and just get a quick ballpark grade. So there's 303, a little bit out of order, that was upside down. There's three, okay, it's all out of order. They're not in order. I just happened to see 301 first. There's 301, that caught my eye, especially since the book looks so good in pictures. Um, see the little corner crunch there, but maybe that's just the bag. But yeah, 301 newsstand, which has a lot of value in super high grade. 315, first Venom appearance on a cover, even if it's just like a little tiny thing there. 313, the lizard. 314, the Christmas special, I guess. It's a pretty cool book. 311, and 302. That's that for that box. Let's open the other one here. Save this pristine Gemini mailer for future use. And the next box. There's 304, very cool cover. Very purpley cover, 305. And 307, I think this one has a little bit of value to it. I forget exactly where these comics lie in the spectrum of value. 308, I know that one's got to be extremely hard to get in a high grade because of all this dark colors here. Yep. And this, of course, Mary Jane Face, very, very cool. I like that book. Another dark cover here. And what do we got now? Oh, some Green Goblin, Hobgoblin. Nice. And that's number 312. And one of my favorite covers, Homage, obviously. Action Comics 1, 306. So that's all of them. Let me switch over to this camera now. And let's, let me get them out of the bags, get them all organized and ready and everything. And then we will take a look together. All right, we got our stack of books over here in order chronologically. So let's go ahead and take a look at 301. Now these books look really good as I was getting them out of the bag, but I didn't have my glasses on and it was a little bit dark. So let's just hold off 
on what we think until we actually see this thing. I do see a couple little color breaking ticks up here, a little crunch on the bottom. And this corner here has a little tiny tear on it, so that's a little bit disappointing. And the back has a little color rub there, a couple of ticks. This book isn't, uh, it has a corner crunch here on the top as well. A big crease going down the side, a bunch of stuff going on the bottom. So this is probably an 8.0 to 8.5 book capped, I would think something like that. All right, so we got 302 here. This is a little bit nicer looking book. Got a couple little tiny color breaks there on the spine. Three corners look good. A couple spine ticks around the staples there. This is probably in the 9.2 to 9.4 range after press. I don't think it could squeak out a 9.6, but I'm not going to rule that out. But yeah, probably capped at 9.4 on that one. 303, tiny little tick there and there. Corners look sharp. Not seeing anything else really going on on the front. On the back, white cover, so it hides a lot of the, any color breaks. So we do have some spine ticks that can be fixed. This corner's been over, but it's sharp. I can correct that. Yeah, this is a nice looking book. Um, This one, 9.6, possibly outside chance of 9.8. But I'm confident this would at least get the 9.6. 304. Nice looking book. Got a couple of stresses on the staple down here. Corners are good. Now, of course, I'm not opening the interior of these books in this video. I will do that, but I'm not going to bore you with going through this entire book <laughs> um, on camera. That would take way too long. Corners are good on the back. Spine looks exceptionally good on the back. Yeah, I think these uh, this a couple stresses here on the bottom staple will hold us back. This is probably a 9.4 if I was going to grade it. I don't think that would allow us a 9.6, but, you know, I wouldn't rule it out on a, on a, if, I mean, there's really not much going on otherwise. So, there's some crinkling here I can correct. Let's make sure there's nothing crazy on the inside here. Nope. Number 305 with this beautiful purple cover. The stresses are on the spine, but they're in the white area. I don't see it extending into the purple or the black. Corners are good. Nothing going on in the middle. Back is sharp. Corners are good. A little bit bendy in spots, but intact. No tears. Yeah, this is a 9.8 right here. Candidate. Man, this thing could get a 9.8 right now. Um, 9.6 certainly right now. Clean, uh, clean up the spine a little bit. This is a 9.8 candidate. Second one. So two so far. That's not bad. Um, we got a 306 here. This one uh, is a lot better centered than my 9.8 copy that I have. It was a little bit off-center, like miswrapped. This one is not. That's really common for this book to either be miswrapped or have overhang. That's, that's a common flaw, so that's not going to count against us. This spine is tweaked a little bit on this bottom right here. Pretty sure that's part of the production process, though. Once again, this book, for some reason, when they put it together in, the, in production... It just was squirrely <laughs> on the wrapping. Um, but everything else is flawless on this book. Yeah, I think I got myself another 9.8 here. Possible. There's literally nothing going on in this spine. There's one little tiny tick here. Might slightly break color, but I can't really tell. Maybe not. Yeah, this one's another 9.8 worthy book. Very cool. That's three. If I remember correctly. Okay, we got a black cover. Not... Never get your hopes up on these kind of covers. <laughs> this is exceptionally hard to get a 9.8. Number 307, color break, color break, tiny color break. Okay, three little color breaks on the spine. I think that's going to discount us from being 9.8 on this book, unfortunately. Corners are good, a little bit bent under, but I can fix that. A little bit soiled, very tiny mount here I can clean up. Yeah, I think this is a 9.6 book here, which is a, a really good grade. See the backing boards? This, these books were bagged and boarded, I think, in the 80s. So it's, they probably were bagged and boarded and have just been in a, in, a, in a box or stacked on top of each other for ever since, 40 years or whatever. Um, well, 35, whatever, how many years, however many years that is. So I, that's why I think these books are in such good condition. I don't think they've been, they may have never been read. So we got a 9.6 here. So we've got several 9.6s and three 9.8s. Did I say three? Another dark cover. It's hard to get. This one's bent up pretty good on the side, but that looks all correctable there. 
These are very good spines for dark books. I mean, don't get me wrong, two or three ticks, that's very, very, very hard to find. This one has one color break, a slight one there. So two slight color breaks on the spine. Okay, we got tears on the top of this one. So yeah, this one is uh, not good, but that's fine. Um, can't We can't get them all perfect, right? This one is, with these tears, that's going to cap us. It's probably quarter, a total three-quarter inches of a tear. So whatever that caps us at, that could be 8.0, something like that. So yeah, but a beautiful book otherwise. So let's see here. Not seeing any tears on this one. Spine looks really good. There's some ticks there, but there's no color breaks that I could see yet. Maybe a tiniest minuscule one there and there. Ticks here, but it's hard to say. You never really know until you clean it up and press it exactly what they're going to look like, but possibly another little color break there. So maybe possibly three to four tiny color breaks on that spine. This corner, though, has a little tear. See that? So that's probably going to cap us. I, I would still say this book is, uh, that's so minor. This could be a 9.4. So yeah, 9.2 to 9.4. Probably capped at 9.4 with that tiny tear. And this one's got to be one of the hardest covers ever to, <laughs> to get a 9.8. Look at this black. One little spine tick right there. Maybe two. Not bad. There's a bindery tear on the bottom. Little corner crunch there that can be cleaned up. It's tick, 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 but non-color breaking because it's white. You can see that bindery thing right there. Once again, a very old backing board. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but you can see how ancient that is. This could squeak out a 9.8. I'm going to call it a 9.6, though. I would give it 9.6 probably after press. I mean, that's so tiny, though. you got to angle it, really, to see the color break. So, mm, I don't know, man. 310, that could be a rare 9.8 on that one. We're going to call it 9.6 to 9.8. Probably 70% of the time it's 9.6. Maybe 20% 9.8, and the other 10 somehow gets 9.4. I don't know why it would, but it could. This one has a slight miswrap. You can see how the dollar sign's off the book a little bit here. But wow, this book looks great otherwise. Okay, one little tick there. No color break. Or if there is, it's like right on the edge. Wow, okay, this might be the best looking book yet. You can see the miswrap on the back, but that's fine. That's not going to hold us back. This is a 9.8. This could be a 9.8 right now. Is that our fourth? Sure, 9.8 and fifth, maybe. All right, the next one's 312. This gorgeous uh, ring goblin and hobgoblin cover with Spidey in action underneath. Once again, an ancient backing board. Wow, okay. This book, wow. I, I mean, seriously, dude. <laughs> Dudes or dudettes? <laughs> it, it really looks like this book is sitting on the stands at our local com comic book shop. Looks like I just walked up and I got this book off the stands. That is how good this book looks. Holy cow. That is something else. Man. That'll get your heart racing a little bit. This is a 9.8 right now. There's a little bit of a scuff or some kind of soiling. I can get that off with an eraser in 30 seconds probably. Other than that, this is a 9.8.5 right now. Jeez, I can't get over this. Sorry to spend so much time on this book, but are you seeing this? I can't get over this. It is extremely rare to find a book this nice in the wild. I'm telling you, man, five times, maybe ten tops out of looking at thousands of comics, do I see a book that looks this good. This is insane. Wow. So, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't. I hate to move that book out of there. i got to put that one in, in a top loader ASAP. All right. 313. Another, another really good. It's got some spine ticks, but I'm not seeing color breaks. This corner looks a little bit weird. Got a little tiny piece missing from this corner, and it's definitely been crunched. And I can see it on the backing board right there. So this book has been dropped at some point. It's unfortunate. You know, I've seen books with that kind of defect on it still get 9.6, though, with that little piece. So I'm going to call this 9.4 to 9.6. It would be a 9.8 without that corner. 
the Christmas issue, 314. Okay, awesome spine, awesome corners. I'm just going to pause and say that so far I am blown away by this. I did not, in my wildest dreams, hope that these books would be this nice. They're not all 9.8s, but man, I think we could get five or six so far out of this that are 9.8s if we got lucky. And this is certainly a 9.8 so far right here. Bindery tear, bindery tear, top and bottom. You can get that a 9.8. Corners are... That corner's a little bit weird, but it doesn't look like it's been damaged. That could be production. I, I'm not sure on that corner. It doesn't look like it's been damaged, but it's certainly not perfectly sharp. That's a little bit iffy, but I'm still going to say this is a 9.6 to 9.8. 3.15. There's a tick here, but it's not color breaking. It's it's pretty bad though. I, I'm pretty sure I can fix that 100%. Same thing here, but no color breaks. Once again, a non-color breaking spine. No no color breaking spine damage. There is a slight little sun shadow maybe, which I've seen on this book before. It actually, I've got a book that I'm going to resubmit. See, it's got a little spine roll here. This book has been flat and had books on top of it for probably 35 years. I mean, that's just a guess, but I wouldn't be surprised. This corner's um, bent up a little bit, but that's easily fixable. One press will take care of that. There might be a little spot here to erase. I don't know what that is, some kind of mark. Um, the back is the hard one on this book. Corner looks good. It's bent under a little. There's a slight bend here. There's a little bit of a production thing on the bottom here. You'll see this, this is common. You see how this is, um, let me see if I can find it here. I thought I saw it. I might do that from the front just to show you. Let me let me look at the back, then we'll flip it over. Wow. This this kind of thing gets me excited. I mean, look at this. There is nothing. There's a couple ticks, but there's no color breaks on a black spine. You know how you guys know how hard that is to find. Usually you'll say boop, boop, boop. You know, you'll see something immediately. That thing is awesome. So let's see here. Yeah, you see that right there? That is not a defect. That is not a uh, man-made defect. That is when the book was originally cut. Just like you'll see those little, sometimes you'll see those little parts out of the bottom, those little uh, slots. It looks like somebody took a hole punch almost, a tiny little hole punch. That's all that is right there. That is not a man-made defect, and sometimes it'll extend into the cover and I think it did on this one you see how it's slightly on that cover see how it hangs a little bit lower than the bottom of the cover here that's how you can tell that's not a defect a greater worth his weight or her weight will know that's not a man-made defect this is a 9.8 I would give this a 9.8 after clean and press um, right now it's a 9.6 maybe 9.4 because of that if you were being, man, yeah, it's a 9.4 actually. That's 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 enough to get you to 9.4. Anyway, I'm rambling, but yeah. So this has been a lot of fun. I, I I can't tell you how how happy I am to have gotten these books. Now I'm gonna get all these nasty old bags and boards thrown away, and I'm gonna put them in nice um, maybe mylar if I got enough of it. So yeah, I still can't get over <laughs> how good that book looks. So how many 9.8s did we find? Let's put the final tally on the screen, and. Uh, this is what it's all about. If you can find books like this in the wild and possibly submit them, I mean, that is so much fun. It's so hard to find books this nice, and you guys know. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.